Um, your story is based on true events. Um, what, like, what did inspire you to do this movie, or how did you heard about the story? Well, um, the story is more inspired than based on true events. Actually, um, there was a very famous case, uh, a murder in Santiago in Chile. A boy, a gay boy, was uh, tortured and then killed. And I happened to know that boy. Uh, I've worked as a musician for about a decade now, and that boy was a fan of mine. Um, I, I okay. talked with him a couple of times, not not a close relationship at all. And his death was like particularly awful. It was very, it was all over the news. Okay. And um, when that happened, it kind of shocked me and affect, affected me rather deeply. And I decided, um, to write a script not about him but inspired by him and the only premise that uh, the real case and, and the movie share is that uh, it's it begins with the, the the beating of a gay boy okay um when this happened how was the reaction in the media was it like well known yeah all yeah. over chile where what was the reactions of the people yeah it was some it? sort of um how would you say like uh, some sort of symbolic case like For instance, we didn't have uh, a discrimination law, and after that happened, it was so horrific, so violent. Yeah. I, I won't go into the details because okay. it's not necessary, but it was very, very, very violent. Uh, that Congress actually passed discrimination laws named after him, so it wow. was that that level of wow. of, okay. of of power and, yeah. and perception in in the media. So had great recognition after that happened, and something changed, obviously, after. You know, it's it's very debatable how much uh, it changes because, for instance, I would say homophobia in Chile uh, or other Latin American countries is pretty much intact. Yeah. I mean, you are in like actual danger to walk hand in hand with yeah. your boyfriend or girlfriend if you're okay. if you're a girl. And uh, I have friends who personally have been chased with iron rods down the street mm. because they looked gay. Yeah. Um, so, as, as I said, whether it's changed or not, it's very debatable. It, it Maybe it began a, some sort of cultural debate, mm. maybe. But those types of cultural shifts are very, very slow. But how is it for you? I mean, how do you deal with the situation? Do people attack you because, I don't know, you're... Are you openly gay in Chile? Are you like? Yeah, pretty gay? much. Yeah. I mean, as I as I mentioned, I I worked as a musician, as a songwriter, and yeah. most of my songs are really gay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you have it as a content as well. Yeah, like yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, but um, I guess as in as in most societies, um, you can lead rather more privileged lives or more sheltered lives as opposed to gay and poorer kids and they are definitely more in danger still okay. in Chile. Okay. That I would say ha hasn't changed ab absolutely no. nothing. No. And for you personally, do you feel like threatened by society or by people when you use, when they recognize you? Do they recognize you on the street? Sure, I mean, not more threatened than any other gay boy or girl, but I take it upon myself as a, some sort of mission. And okay. it, it's, that's kind of the, the fuel I get to To do my work and, yeah. and to very to be very vocal, um, yeah. so t cultures, societies, um, cities, countries need those type of people to to advocate for for them yeah. and sure. I just do it. It's uh, maybe more a motivation for you. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I get scared sometimes. Of course, it's yeah. it's really dangerous. You'll get like not. I haven't been chasing down the street like my friends have, mm. but but sure, people shout at me. Yeah. Of course. Um, maybe you have a very special relationship between son and father in the movie. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, the um, the idea of having the the story of um, of a father and a son is to um, to depict um, the way masculinity gets um, you know handed down from a generation. More than masculinity, the ideas of what being a, a, a man is supposed to be or, or what being a man involves 
and what happens when 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 the boy has absolutely no interest mm. in being manly and is uh, very comfortably and openly gay yeah. and what happens when the father uh, receives the effects of that violence uh, as the boy gets beaten yeah so it's in a way um, the movie itself a vehicle for uh, normal heteronormative masculine man to reflect upon that violence mm -hmm as it affects to him directly. And it affects his life and the way maybe he changes his mind, doesn't change his mind in, in the movie? Yeah, absolutely. Um, unfortunately, um, often that type of mindset change uh, only happens when it affects people directly. Yeah. Um, the movie itself, in a way, is, is, as I said, like a vehicle for people not to have their kids and sons and daughters beaten up and get to think mm. and identify as this like yeah. normal father. Yeah. How would you describe the um, acceptance in the families when they like family members openly gay? How you would you describe it as accepted or is it no. still like <laughs> a, it's a big thing? Um, yeah, it's a big thing still. Um, most Latin countries and certainly Chile share very conservative values mm. uh, inherited from mostly Catholicism mm. and the, um, the church still has tremendous amount of power to the point where for instance in Chile there's no sort of abortion whatsoever okay. yeah. even if the, if the woman uh, has been raped and is going to die she mm. cannot abort Oh, yeah. So it's that level of, you know, like advancement in Chile. So religion has a big influence it's on the It's a serious, people. serious like, shit. Yeah, that, yeah, that sounds like that. Um, like, how um, was it for you to, you're like, actually you're a mus musician, well-known musician in Chile. And how was it for you to make your first movie? Um, well, I've heard the phrase that if there's something harder than making a movie, it's making your first movie and it's certainly true mm. but uh, it's very it's a challenge and uh, and that sort of thing I welcome very much uh, it was a, an, a great experience and even though you might make like first timer mistakes or whatever and you feel like you could have done better personally um, the movie had an emotional purpose which is discussing this type of violence that affected me very deeply and affects my my local context very much and that as I said like maintained me mm, at ease with the whole project it's okay. it's a very long long-term process making a movie but that thought always like gave me direction okay and um, what would be interesting for me is there like a queer scene for cinema like a queer film scene in Chile? Do you have, I don't know, festivals or screenings? Or do you have the feeling like there are people coming together? Um, yeah, but it's ever like, it's so, so slow. Like everything queer in Chile is like, I, I probably know them all. <laughs> I mean, it's, okay. it's, it's a very small, small community. thing and yeah. community. It, it's starting to become a community because sometimes when, when it's even more like, um, violent and people tend to be like um, queer and isolated you know mm. in your own little town like the only gay in town kind of thing yeah. <laughs> but uh, as, as everyone knows you exactly yeah. as but as people start to embrace visibility and artists start to be more vocal or politicians like a, some sort of gay politician gets elected for the first time which happened like I would say five years ago in Chile, maybe. Okay. Uh, things start to change slowly and those individuals start becoming a community. Okay, well, thanks for having us for the interview. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the Bellinale. I am enjoying it. And yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Sir.